Huh? It did? Uh, let me see. Don't go live yet. But no, never mind. This girl did. Never mind. You know I had to get the camera off still.
<laughs> hello, 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 and hello again. Welcome back to a hopefully another edutaining episode of Create Simple Meals. So today we're doing a what I'm calling the ultimate salmon croquet. Uh, my cousin, I don't know if you guys have watched the show a few weeks ago. I said me and my cousin was working on some collaboration and we was playing around with this, uh, this idea for this croquette. So basically, we're going to take croquette, we're going to put some crawfish tails in it, and some andouille sausages, and we're going to make it do what it do. A um, couple things, andouille sausages. Uh, if you cannot find andouille sausage, I know some folks are like, you can always find andouille sausages. Bull crap. If you cannot find andouille sausages, any Louisiana brand hot link will suffice. I had the darndest time today trying to find andouille sausages, so that's what made me think, hey, that's an alternative uh, to doing this. I was laughing at a minute ago before the, uh, we were starting the show. I couldn't find my dat gun purple tree pills, and I'm like, hold up. Can't start the show without my pills. Anyway, so the, the, the salmon croquet, real simple. I took two cans of uh, salmon. We have some green onions, some red onions, uh, Creole season, some Worcestershire sauce, some hot sauce, panko breadcrumbs, eggs. Basically the same way you always make your um, your uh, croquette. Just with this, you're going to add this other component to it. Give me a second. I don't feel like tossing water in here, so I'm trying to make sure this pan gets up to there. Also, um, shout out to the Self-Employed Tax Group and to Seth Lodge Planning, who's always... Uh, helps produce this show. Please shout out to the Self-Employed Tax Company for all your tax needs. We're approaching that April 15th date. Uh, for those of your business owners, I know you all file taxes multiple times a year, but for you individual tax filers, please hit up the Self-Employed Tax Guy. Also, for any of your uh, group travel needs, feel free to hit up Self Lodge uh, Planning. We'll help you at all your lodge events, your fraternal events, church groups, family reunions, whatever your uh, group travel needs you have, please hit up uh, Seth Lodge Planet at travel at phillipslife.net. A couple of events I will be announcing throughout the show, one of which is, uh, um, which I'm very, very proud to mention this one. Uh, good, 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 good brother of mine, Christopher Aaron, is doing a father and daughter dance. I believe it's uh, June 20th, somewhere like that. Uh, everything is not finalized, but we will constantly promote that on this show. I'm a father. I have a daughter. I think this is a good thing this brother is doing. I think he is destined to do great things with this event. Also, for those of you that don't have anything to do on March 14th, we're having the Festival of Purim uh, Masquerade Ball. I would love for you to attend. So that, that information will be on there as well. All right, we're almost getting ready to rock and roll here. Oh, it's funny. So I'm sitting here in Alabama. Y'all know I had to go to Mardi Gras. And I'm sitting here in Alabama. And I knew my family was going to do me. And sure enough, they did. So half of them was like, you talk too much. Half of them were like, you be sitting there doing nothing. One of my cousins dinged me because he said, how you going to forget half the ingredients before you start the show? Well, buddy, as I told you, because I go live and whatever happens, happens. All right, first thing we get ready to do here is take off these andouille sausages, which I had somewhere. Did I leave them in the refrigerator? Oh, right here. <laughs> See, almost did it again. Take these andouille sausages, and we basically just going to start browning these off. It, it, as you know, sausages are already fully cooked, so we're just uh, browning these off. For two reasons. One, I like the color. Two, to release that oil because in that oil is what I'm going to cook the other vegetables in. And then we're going to toss that off to the side once we're done with it. Get these out because I'm going to need this bowl in a minute. Keep them open. I was sitting there, I was uh, watching, um, what was it, Housewives of Atlanta, and 
something occurred to me. I was, I was watching, and he, those of you that watch the show, y'all know that uh, that chick uh, Kenya Moore and her husband have filed for divorce. But I'm watching the show, and I'm watching how dude more or less. I ain't gonna get into their relationship, but it just wasn't the most loving uh, way to be. And it made me start thinking about myself. So, because I know I am not the most romantic and loving person, um, at least I don't display it, uh, but I do very much love my wife. I said, I'm gonna try my best to make sure I vocalize my affection for her. She's the one that helps every week directing this show. And her input is, is quite valuable. I was watching that show and it, you know, sometimes you watch these reality shows and it kind of gives you a reflection of yourself and makes you start thinking like, damn, am I that bad? Now I ain't asked her because the bottom line is the fact that I have a question about it means I have room for improvement. So for you fellas out there, uh, if you're starting to wonder sometime, are you doing the right thing, but you better have. And for you women out there who start to question whether or not you're doing the right thing with your better half, don't even question it. Just do better. All right. So as you see, these are getting to where they are. Now, for you seasoned chefs out there, I'm going to tell you right now, my technique don't come out of Julia Child's book or nobody else's. Put these red onions in there and start cooking them off. See that, baby? I even got a bowl of a, a, a sink full of dishwater so I can wash the dishes as soon as I'm done. I'm trying. I'm trying. Huh? I'm, I'm definitely trying. Nothing. So, uh, I love sweatshirts. I try to buy, you know, people buy me sweatshirts. I buy my own. But this one here I'm proud to wear because it is my cousin's company, uh, Goat Life. So, I was in Alabama, and I've seen the, the ad. My cousin Keela was always posting it, but I had no idea it was her son, my little cousin. And so I was like, man, I ain't going to be buying this crap. I don't know these folks. So when I found out it was him, I had to go and jump on this. So the GOAT Life, and it stands for Grind Overrides All Talent. If you think that's a lie, check this out here. How many folks you know sitting on a, a ton of talent, but they ain't got no hustle about them? And you know folks that basically barely finished uh, high school with a GED that's out there doing the that gum thing because they out there grinding every day. So shout out to Goat Life. I think that's something I'm going to try and uh, make sure I emulate as much as possible. Grinding overrides talent. I kind of like that. Again, if you have events uh, that we're interested in promoting, if you have events or uh things coming up please email us at ask me at create simple meals.com also email us with your ideas your um your criticism your critiques things you would like to see on the show things you would like taking off the show please we read every single email i've noticed i was kind of surprised i looked up uh today and not that's a whole lot of numbers my damn viewership then jumped uh triple from uh, over the last two weeks. So thank y'all for supporting me, liking me, sharing me. It really means a lot. All right. Now why this is doing this, let me start on this aioli. Do I got a, yeah, I got one over here. I'm gonna do this aioli here. Well, not aioli, it's a rumelade. Uh, you know what? I think I left all that, I had a spoonful of forks in the house. Give me one second. Show sure, advertise while you're at Rumalai started. Rumalai. 
ain't a whole lot to it. Like, put some of this uh, mayonnaise, about a cup and a quarter. That's a joke. Tell him that. Uncle Sam. Cut the back. Roll me the plot. We'll get a whack. Contract. Give me the max. I got lab. A little bit of uh, mustard. Now I'm using Dijon, which is preferred. We're going to put about a quarter cup of uh, Dijon. Bit of paprika, for the record. Maybe about a teaspoon or so. On the bench. On the bench. About two teaspoons of Creole seasoning. <clears throat> I don't know here lately I've been getting real sensitive with uh some of these season mixtures I've been messing around with. I must be getting old. We're gonna add in some capers, and I'm gonna add the capers about two teaspoons of capers, but I'm gonna add the juice with it as well. Get all them in there. A little bit of garlic seasoning. Whoa, that was a lot of garlic seasoning. I forgot that's the one that didn't have thing on it. We're going to see how that come out. All right. That actually could use a little bit of brightening up. So I got some citrus juice here. It's actually mandarin orange. I'm just using it. It's not part of the recipe, but it's just a little bit too acidic for me right now. And that's basically what we're going to put on top of this ultimate salmon croquette there we go all right put this in here and get this out of the way we're gonna get on the rest with this salmon patty all right so we're done with the uh Actually, no, no, we need to do now, we're gonna add some of this, what I'm calling the guest of honor to this, which is some crawfish tails. Now, those of you that know me personally, I love crawfish. Matter of fact, if you watch, I think I put a live video up, uh, I don't know, last, last Tuesday doing Mardi Gras and uh, my family, we actually did 65 pounds of crawfish for me and my cousins and your uh, Mardi Gras party that we do the Saturday before Mardi Gras. So that was the biggest we've ever done. Uh, for those of you that live in California, y'all know we cannot really get live crawfish. We got to constantly go out. But they was like 265 a pound. So... Yeah, needed to say we balled out. All right, now this crawfish here, uh, most places you in California you can find crawfish, frozen crawfish, usually at a Vons, say Vons. I got these at a Restaurant Depot, but usually at a uh, not seafood, not Ranch Ninety Nine, uh, Seafood City, you can find them there as well. If you don't or you can't find crawfish and you want to use a substitute for this ultimate uh, crawfish, I'm sorry, this ultimate salmon croquette, 
take some shrimp, maybe the, uh, I don't know, the, 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 not the, about the, the 45, 50 shrimp or even the uh, 55, 60 size shrimp, the smaller ones, and use that if you can't find crawfish. But for me, the crawfish is just going to be the kicker to it. You can also use lump crab. Um, if you really want to ball out, you can actually go and get some lobster tails and chop it up too. But uh, <laughs> that may be a simple meal, but it ain't going to be a cheap meal. <laughs> Add a little bit more of that garlic. And that t -t 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 Cajun season. Again, folks, for, uh, for those of you on March 14th, if you're not lot you're doing, we have a masquerade ball for the Festival of Purim. It's for the Queen of Sheba Grand Chapter Order of the Eastern Star. They're doing their first Festival of Purim masquerade ball. And then the following day, they're having a church service. So please, if you can support, uh, please support Queen of Sheba Grand Chapter with this event. Also... In June, a good brother of mine, Chris Aaron, is having the first father and daughter dance. Um, for those of us who've been, you know, you know, for those of us, for the world who was here to witness and uh, hear about the tragedy that happened with uh, Kobe Bryant and his daughter and the rest of those passengers on the uh, plane, uh, I'm sorry, on the helicopter, you know that that was uh, kind of touching. I think a lot of fathers... It kind of hit home to him. So this brother, and I know he's been thinking about this for a while. He is now doing this father-daughter dance. And I think uh, especially nowadays, it is imperative that uh, we embrace our daughters. So if you can, please save the date. I believe it's June 20th uh, for the daddy-daughter dance. Taste this. Oh, yeah. That is nice and right. All right. So we're done with that. Tone, tone this down some. We're going to set this out of our way periodically. Periodically. For a spell. And grab out this salmon now for the salmon and it's in the instructions to not uh when you drain your salmon do not toss the uh, liquid reason being sometimes the salmon gets a little bit um dry when you're making your patties so you want to reserve that liquid just in case you need to moisten it up so so this salmon we're going to add a little bit of Worcestershire. Uh, we're going to scramble up some eggs, pour up in here, some panko, a little Worcestershire sauce, hot sauce, not a lot, just a little bit, some Creole season, and of course that uh, meat mixture that we just put together. Take that. Now, if you notice the green onions, I did not... Uh, I did not put them in the pan. I didn't want to saute them off. Uh, green onions kind of wilt very fast, and I kind of want to at least preserve some of the texture and color. Think about green onions. Just hit me in the head. So y'all know me. I'm frugal. Green onions. I actually uh, do this quite often. When I chop my green onions and get down to the little white part, I actually have a, on my kitchen sink, I actually have a glass with some water in it that I keep green onions in. I have regrown the same green onions about four or five times. So uh, I call it the forever green onion. If you use green onions a lot like me, save yourself 50 cents and uh, go ahead and <laughs> 50 cents. Yeah, save yourself 50 cents and go ahead and put them on your uh, on the counter in a little bit of water. Trust me, within two or three days, you're gonna see the growth. Within a week, there'll be enough to use for another meal. 
All right, add in some green onions. Just a little bit of hot sauce. I ain't gonna put much because I know the wife ain't a big fan of hot sauce. We are gonna put a little bit of hot sauce and a little bit of Worcestershire. I can never pronounce that Worcestershire. I can tell you now I'm not going to need any more liquid in this one. All right. Again, as always, this show is being produced by the Self-Employed Tax Company as well as Seth Lodge Planning. So for all your, your tax needs, please hit up the Self-Employed Tax Company. And for any of your group travel needs, please hit up Seth Lodge Planning. For all your church, fraternal, class reunions, that can use a little bit of Creole season. Now, um, quite sure I ain't got to tell y'all, but I'm going to tell you anyway. During your tasting phase, make your uh, adjustments before you put in your panko and before you put in your uh, egg. Because why? Uh, salmonella. All right, now we got that. Taste this one more again. That'll work. That's what I was missing when I did this the last time in Alabama. I didn't have any Creole season. So I didn't have that kick that I actually wanted. What's going on, Apple? April? <laughs> All right. So I was I was debating, and I'm going to do it. I think I am. I was going to do it tonight, but I was like, nah, I'm going to do this instead. So I'm thinking about doing a stuffed catfish. I've seen several recipes of it, and it's basically a catfish stuffed with a uh, crab mixture. And it's, then it's deep fried. So it's two fillets. There's a whole bunch to it. Anyway, uh, I was like, man, do I want to do that tonight? I'm like, no, nah, I don't feel like dealing with no fryer. Then I'm like, man, that's a lot to be doing. So if that's something that you're interested in, in seeing, please hit me up. I'm probably going to do it anyway because this being the month of March, the month of March, the month of March, and it's uh, Pisces season, I was told, I'm going to be doing mostly seafood if not all seafood for all four live shows during the month of March. So shout out to you Pisces out there. Now we're adding in the panko breadcrumbs, that along with the egg will help this bind together. A bit more of this. This is one of them few times that I not a, don't really care about measuring because uh, I just don't, and it ain't gonna work anyway. Because you got to keep on adding more. But I think the recipe calls for like a cup and a half or something like that of a uh, of panko. But I'm gonna tell you right now with crawfish, because not crawfish, with uh salmon patties, for those of you that made them, made have made them before, you don't want them too dry, but you also don't want them too wet. So 
it's always a ballpark what they telling you all right so now we got this going on let me get this back up to temperature add in me some oil actually yeah i'm gonna do it like that There we go. All right, now normally I use a, uh, what's that thing called? Ice cream scoop, but I ain't doing all that today. When I'm cooking for a large crowd, I use that just so they're more uniform, but hell, my hands is uniform. Now, what I'm going to serve these with tonight, uh, there's no recipe for it, is basically a mandarin orange salad, that one there, which is basically some spinach, arugula, some uh, pine nuts, I think of some other kind of nuts in there, and a tangerine vinaigrette, because this already is a fairly heavy meal so I figure add a little salad to kind of lighten it up at least have something to eat it with though when I did this before I just did it with some sauteed uh, onions and bell peppers so I'm like eh eh I'm just going to do three of these right now. Damn, this is actually enough for, uh, that's one of the reasons, especially with uh, recipes that I create or I co-collaborate creating, I don't put time and or amounts, because damn it, I just don't know. That one was supposed to have panko on it. Told y'all, y'all going to see every uh, mistake I make. Well, that one going to cook without the panko. That's gonna be the low, the lower carb uh, version. Now tonight, I'm telling you right now, I was up. Where my uh, glass? Oh, so y'all you know me. I am not a a uh, blended scotch drinker, but I have gotten to Game of Thrones. I know a million years late, and they had this at uh, uh, Trader Joe's. I'm like, I had to try. It's actually a pretty damn good scotch, if I would say so myself, especially since I don't like blended scotches. Give those you just tuning in, please keep in mind, uh, June 20th, I believe, good buddy of mine is having a daddy-daughter dance. Uh, more information will be coming. But for those of you uh, fathers, daughters, even if your father is not here, uh, he still wants to recognize you and your father. Please, uh, we'll constantly throughout the month, keep advertising throughout the next couple of months, advertising uh, as progress goes on with this uh, event. But please, 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 I think this is something that's worthy of us supporting. Uh, if you're not a father or you don't have a daughter, pass the information on to someone else. Uh, cause this is something I don't believe fathers, for those of you that know me personally, know every year I go on a, a rant about, uh, Father's Day, but I don't think fathers are celebrated enough. So I applaud this brother for what he's doing. And I really hope you guys support him. Also on the 14th of, uh, let's see how you're going to flip this up. Ah, that's a nice color on the 14th of March. There's a masquerade uh, dance and ball, dinner and ball. Um, Queen of Sheba Grand Chapter, Order of the Eastern Star, is having their first uh, masquerade ball in celebration of the Festival of Purim. And then the following day, we will have a church service. So please come out, support. The tickets are not expensive at all. It's $20 in advance, $25 at the door. Trust me, you will have a good time. 
and to the self-employed tax company and Seth Lodge Planning, the producers of this show. For all your tax needs, please hit up the self-employed tax guy. This brother built this company from the ground up for folks like you and me so we can get out there. You can do your taxes via uh, Dropbox, face-to-face, um, go into his office, email. He's made it virtually. You can do your taxes any which way you desire. In addition to that, Seth Lodge planning for all your group travel needs. Please hit us up for your family trips, your family reunions, your lodge events, your church events, any of your large events. Please hit up Seth Lodge planning at travel at phillipslife.net. For all your questions, comments, criticism, and ideas for the show, please remember to email us at askme at createsimplemeals.com. All right, so if you see this one here, that's the one that we forgot to put the, we, I forgot to put the uh, panko on, but you still see it's holding on pretty well. I think I could use a tad bit more oil in here. And we are almost done because, but I'm not going to cook this whole pan of uh, crawfish, not crawfish, of salmon tonight. Fly them uh, salmon. This is where you start developing meals. You have to start remembering exactly what you're doing. So normally I use two cans of salmon, you know, if you want a nice size patty for four people. But me and my brainiac ways, I forgot that we also added in a pound of crawfish and about half a pound of sausages would stretch the meat that much further. So now what would have been a meal for four is probably a meal for eight to ten. So you can cook up, which I am going to cook all these up. For salmon patties, they will last. You can freeze them, um, rub them tight and, and freeze them. And to reheat them, thaw them out, put them in a pan with a little bit of oil for about three minutes each side. And they'll cook back up. Or... If you're not going to freeze them, use them within a week. Same process. All right. This one here. That one going to be the money shot. Let me start working on this salad. All right, we're almost. I don't think somebody would actually need two of these, but I'm still going to put two of them on there, I think. Uh-oh.
And there you have it, folks, what I am calling the ultimate salmon croquet. We took some andouille sausages, some crawfish tails, sauteed them off with some red onion into that. We mixed the salmon, some panko breadcrumbs, rolled in there, fried that off in a pan, and we're eating this on top of a basic green uh, salad, the mandarin uh, salad. For the rumelot, the recipe is also on there. Real quick, mayonnaise, some um, Creole mustard, paprika, some capers, hot sauce, mix that together, and that's for your rumelade sauce. Again, as always, there are absolutely only three rules that I have when it comes to cooking. You must have passion, you must have patience, and you must be willing to practice. Until next week on Create Simple Meals, where we will probably be featuring another seafood fish deal or whatever, we will see you again. Please do not forget to email us and ask me at createsimplemeals.com. Any of your ideas, your thoughts, your comments, your criticism, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, like us, share us. Been a little too nice for y'all. Now I got to price for y'all. Snake eyes are nice for y'all. Shoulders are ice for y'all. Frozen. 8-6 ball to hate. I won't get involved today. Got lost in the ball.